coming and you know having this beautiful moment with you guys, inspiring everyone all over the world and create an impact. So Eric, how's everything in Australia? Life after my wish, we'll talk more about that. Yeah, I'm very uh, happy and you know busy every day with uh, with the kids, with my basketball, with side business, with my basketball team, private training. So yeah, I'm doing all right. Yeah. It's good to be busy, so, because yeah. it can. It's not just being productive, but it can help you, you know, turn the clock really fast, right? right? right. And before you knew it, you've already been very successful. I'm sure you're already successful and you're um, you're I'm getting sure. more you're getting more um, you know, people to be like little children. So clinic yes. for the children and all that? Uh, actually it's an open age, so I don't really think what age. So people reach out to me so so shout out to busy bowling. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Hello! Yes, that's right. That's good. That's good. Now, uh, why? I just want to ask because I know a lot of people out there wants to get to know you better because they they've already seen you playing basketball excellently, right? Brilliant uh, players, right? Congratulations, bro. And what, what team are you? Uh, I'm in uh, Aldery Wodonga. Wodonga uh, Bandits. There yeah, you so, go. Yeah. Hey guys, Eric Miraflores is here. Shout out to the Bandits. There you go. <laughs> now, um, Eric. Why, you know, when did you actually arrive in Australia? Uh, we migrated here about, I think, 2006. That was like December 23rd. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was, I'm having a bit of a culture shock. You know, back home during like before Christmas, mm -hmm. everybody's got together. Mm -hmm. And then when I went here, I, I don't know no one. You know? Yes, 2006. So I'm just with my mom and my, you know, my, my uh, stepdad. Oh, wow. So it's a bit of a, like a culture shock. So you migrated with your mom? With my brother. With your brother? Yeah, yeah. Okay. How many are your siblings? Um, uh, with my mom, just two of us, me and my brother. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. But actually, I got another uh, six more siblings from father's side. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah I see. I see. That's, that's good to know. So, 2006, you were here. Yeah. We're talking about life after migration, ladies and gentlemen. So how was it? Uh, you said you, you you had a bit of um, experience of like culture shock, there was yes, a struggle, yes, there were challenges. Yeah. Any um, anything that you want to um, um, share to everyone, those who want to migrate here in Australia? Uh, what are those maybe struggles, kind of uh, challenges, or maybe funny moments? I think you can uh, share that to them, please. Yeah, I think the the, the language, the English. Yeah, the it's accent. different here, the accent is different. <laughs> yeah, because uh, back home in, in the Philippines, uh, we have this. We got American, we follow American, so oh, we're getting yeah. used to the American way. Yeah, the American accent. Yeah, the American yeah. accent. Butter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you have butter. Yeah. And um, yeah, so when I had uh, like socializing with Aussies, it's mm -hmm. like it's hard for me to understand it. Oh, I see. Because the accent is so different for me. And the other thing though is the other, the, the racism sometimes. I get that all the time. Mm -hmm. During that time. It's still happening now, but I, I, I think you're just going to live with it, mm -hmm. and, you know, and uh, maybe just, you just can't really do much about it. Maybe anywhere in the world there are people they who are like, like that. Yeah, yeah. like they they call it racism, but to us, uh, it, it, for me, it's more insecurities, you know, and especially as well if you're in a different area, different culture, yeah. and you're new in the environment, there might be a little bit of that, not the judgment, but a yeah. bit of like, thinking about who you are and getting to know you better and all that and once they get to know you better yes, yes. and they realize how yeah. awesome Eric is he's not just a good man but he's also a great basketball player but, but the other thing though yeah the Australians are very nice mostly yeah I love them yeah, yeah. I love them love them so much you know I like them especially with their culture mm -hmm. so different from us yes and then you know you're learning like how you deal with life and yeah, work, definitely. You know what I mean? Like all the plans. That's right. Yeah, I'm learning a lot from them. This country is beautiful, isn't it? Right? Because it's multi-diversified. Yeah. Yeah. People here are very dynamic mm -hmm. and very adaptable, very loving, compassionate as well. And of course, you know, they're. they're it's not a perfect country, just like any other countries in the whole world. But at the end of the day, when you migrate here and submerge yourself in a different opportunities, yes. you will feel how welcoming this country is. Like, it's beautiful. I've never thought as well how beautiful this country. Yes. Not until I came here in maybe 2009, 2010, and it was beautiful. The opportunities here is yes. great. Yes. Everything from studying to working right. skills. That's why, guys, you know, if you want to come here in Australia, let me know. Contact the best me in Motivation Week. 
That's right, because it's and even the food as well. You've got everything globally, yeah. from Asia to European to American, anything, name it. Now that's good that you were able to, you know, um, overcome all the challenges, the struggles, and, and some of the you know, things that you need to encounter if you're in a different country. And that's normal, you know, when you're migrating, it's normal. There's a bit of a change. It will be a bit messy, but in the, in the middle, it will be a bit okay. But at the end of the day, you feel like I'm settled. Uh, it's always a settling period. Isn't it? All you gotta do is adapt. You know, yes. You're just gonna adapt things so you can actually, mm -hmm. you know, you feel better. Mm -hmm. And then people will like really look after you. Yes. As soon as you adapt, because you gotta remember, we're not living back home anymore. We're living here. Yeah. So all you gotta do is you know, just do the things what they do here, the culture they have. Sure, it's beautiful. You know what I mean? You can't complain. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll love to know. Guys. See that tip, yeah. right? And and the good thing about that, so having said that, I think it's more as well like having starting with a good mindset, having yes. a good attitude. If you don't have a good mindset, you're always negative, and you're in a different country. Right. You won't be able to succeed, you mm -hmm. know, and you won't be successful in whatever you do. Even if you're like the best intelligent mm -hmm. person in the whole world, but you don't have that great mindset, you won't be able to adapt. As yes. we have said, adapt into a new environment and settle well and you know uh, and start a new beginning and right. it's what you've right. done yeah. Yeah. you know you've overcome all the challenges yes. Yes. even the, uh, you feel like you sometimes you don't feel the, uh, the belongingness and yeah. all that but at the end they look at you now 2006 how many years i'm not believing uh, that really <laughs> so that would be 2022 now so 16 years 16 years i'm good math today yeah. there you go 16 years yeah, yeah, 16. you've survived yeah. and look at you you've got a business which is a uh, Basketball clinic, yes, you said, right? Yes, yes. And it's for all uh, any age. We'll talk more about that later yeah. on. And you can, you know, maybe invite anyone in different parts of Australia, and even those who are coming here in Australia. If you if you're into basketball, see, there's no age limit. Yes. Eric here, you can you can see how you know he teaches you know different ages, Basics. and you can see in this video as well all the techniques that he has. Uh, he will be showing you as well. Okay, so watch out for that. Yes. So thank you so much for that, Eric. And I've got another question here because a lot of people also are asking about again getting to know you better. It's all about um, why Australia. Actually, There's so many countries that you can go to, even in America. Actually, I have no choice because my mom. Um, she came here first mm -hmm. before before us. So mm -hmm. uh, during that time, I was playing basketball college back mm -hmm. home. Yeah. So I don't even know Australia before. I thought mm -hmm. it was just it's like a like a country with no buildings, just far, you know. Mm -hmm. It's instead of travel. Where is Australia? I know. But now they don't. I actually didn't have idea. Is it part of Europe or something? <laughs> the geography. <laughs> I know. Yeah, yeah. But when I finally found it, it, it's actually a beautiful, beautiful country. Yeah, you got so the city, you got, you got the farm, you got everything. Everything. So, From the food yeah. opportunity. Oh gosh. Yeah. Yeah. It's a beautiful, as I said, you know, I'm not trying to um, exaggerate, but I'm trying to rub this in, guys, that it's a beautiful country to live. Australia is one of the best right. countries. Especially in Melbourne as well. Mm. You know, we're enjoying yeah. having fun. But in different, many different states in Australia, you can also, you know, um, submerge yourself and enjoy and have fun with all the opportunities here. And you'll be able to grow professionally and personally at the same time. Meeting new friends again. This is multi-diversified yes. company. So, you know, having been here for 16 years, what are the best moments that you're trying to cherish this from the beginning up to the present, perhaps? that you would love to share globally so the people out there will be inspired and get motivated and you know empower people and come here to us and in Australia guys right so anything that you can you know share um, first of all like well, if, if you don't finish your your, your studies mm -hmm. it's hard for us to get a job I see. So, yeah, right. so I thought what I'm gonna do here in Australia I didn't even finish my degree mm -hmm. so basically after that uh, year 2006, mm -hmm. early 2007, mm -hmm. one of my, my I, I met one of my friends from basketball. So mm -hmm. he said, uh, Eric, uh, what are you looking for a job here? And I said, I'm jobless, so I really need a job because up back home I was just playing basketball. So that's that, that that's been my life back mm -hmm. home. But anyway, let's go back to that story. Um, one of my friends here. So he gave me a job to work in a hospital 
like in uh, John Cook uh, Hospital. Oh yeah, I know that one. Yes, yes. Yeah. I worked there as a kitchen hand. Okay. And I worked as That's a... Good. Yes, yes. So, I didn't even know that... Next and good pay too. Yeah, good, good money. <laughs> yes. So, that was like, yeah, early 2007, I think, from mm -hmm. what I remember. Yeah. And yes, yeah, that, that's the best time I had because, uh, you know, I had two jobs during that time. Whoa. Yeah, I, I worked hard working. <laughs> So I work in the hospital and then um, and I work in a, 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 a as a machine operator mm -hmm. in a plastic tubing like mm -hmm. in uh, Thomastown. So yes. I got two jobs. So it's, they gave me a really like a good opportunity to work mm -hmm. and I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. And then I save a little bit of money and then you know I, I, bought, I bought my first car, mm -hmm. my very first car. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. That's <laughs> so, good. Yeah. And and other than that, um, after a few years, and I thought, um, why, why should I continue playing basketball? Because mm -hmm. uh, I felt like my, my passion is there, yeah. you know, because back home my, my career cut, sh part, cut short. Mm -hmm. So I thought, all right, I'm going to continue playing basketball. So I got this coach, uh, Dennis, we call him D-Mac. Dennis McNamara, shout out to Dennis. Hey, yeah. Jack. Yeah, from Craig Burn Eagles and there my you teammates. Go. Yeah. So that, that was my first team in a big league. So that was a like pretty club. Mm -hmm. So I was a rookie, yeah, but I was already 28 years old at that time. How did you get in there? Like, how um, did saw you from one of the schools? I, I was uh, I'm actually playing uh, every Sunday, like a Filipino like a free, Filipino, uh, no, it's like a Filipino domestic league. Game, yeah. Filipino right. league. Uh, one of my dearest friends, uh, he passed away last year. Oh, so, uh, so yeah, uh, rest in peace, uh, Cyrus. So mm -hmm. we're gonna miss you. So anyway, every Sunday um, we were playing in Fredriver Stadium. Mm -hmm. So one of the the lady, uh, I forgot about her name. Uh, mm -hmm. So anyway, so she asked me, uh, and she goes to me. Eric, uh, are you interested to play Big B? And I said, what, what, are, what is Big B? It's like a semi-professional basketball league mm -hmm. in Melbourne. So, one of the popular league okay. yeah, in Ooh, Melbourne. Yeah. So, and I said, all right. Uh, just, he gave me the, the number, mm -hmm. the mobile number of Dennis. He said, contact this guy, you know, just, just tell him that I sent you there. So, I went for a tryout. Uh, track. That was like 2011. So around November, mm -hmm. so that's normally the, the time when when they have off season. So so anyway, school holidays. Yeah. So I tried out and I said, uh, Coach, are you Coach Dennis? So I want to try out on the team. And then he said, yeah, Just go. Okay. Let me uh, let me see uh, what you can do. So how good so you I, are. Yeah. So I made it, and then. He was surprised from with my height, you know, mm -hmm. the way I do. Yeah. But he was impressed by me. And then after that, um, during the season, um, I'm starting coming off the bench. Wow. So I was playing as a point guard. And then uh, I think a few rounds after, and uh, he started to see my, my potential as a one of the scorer in our team. So I became the starter as a shooting guard. So I became wow. a shooting guard. He was the guy that mm -hmm. gave me like the opportunity to uh, you know like to reach my potential. That's right. So during that that season, twenty twelve, we, we won the grand finals, we won the championship. Wow. Yeah. So um, That's good. Yes. That's very impressive. Yes, yes. So shout out to Craig and Bernie Eagles and there you my go. teammate from the twenty twelve. So hopefully we'll get some very good happening. happening. See, it's not the height, it's the ability, guys, right? Yeah, it, it's the will. It's That's the right. will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a lot of hard work, though. But, yes, because uh, yeah. you're capable of doing it. So no, I, I think everyone's capable of doing it. If you're very passionate about it, don't you practice as yeah, well. Yeah, you're going to be positive. And yeah. This is what I keep t telling to my, my, my players, my friends, or mm -hmm. whoever I had conversation with, and I said to them, uh, everything that you have or everything that you want to do, Work hard, just expect less. Because the more you expect, it's right. work hard, yes, yes. Less. Work hard, expect less. So, that's yeah. good. Any, that's really good to know that you know, uh, despite of you thinking about your scholastic academic yes. performance, like mm -hmm. back home, it's really like more. 
academic, academic. More basketball. <laughs> yeah, more basketball. But in here, you are able to use your talent better. Yes. Even more, not better, but you're already better back home in the Philippines. But when you came here, you were able to hone that skills yes. and found the right people to train you well. And look at you, you know? Yes. Yeah, uh, a point guard, guard, right? Point guard, yeah. I'm see the video later on, guys, to see how all the techniques that he does as well. It's a great job. Yeah. So that's one of the beautiful moments yes. that you have uh, in that can cherish forever. Mm -hmm. That's really good. Is there anything else that you want to share? Um, when, when I met my partner, Erin. <laughs> Gave me a beautiful kids, Logan and Papa. Logan and Papa, hello. Yes. And her family is really nice. You know, like shout out to her parents and yes. her sisters. Yes. I really love them because they look after me. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, very well. I'm very curious. How did you meet Erin? Was she the uh, uh, best cheerleader? <laughs> Who <Woo -hoo>, joined <laughs> us? <laughs> so every uh, there's there's a pub, local pub in our area. Okay. Uh, yeah. So That's good to know. Should I name drop the, the place? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, I forgot the name. I don't know, they call it Kuru. It's like a local pub. Unforgettable place, it's, it's, moment. It's every Thursday night like, and Friday, um, <laughs> bar 53. Why not? Yeah, yeah. See, you know, coming here, uh, thinking about what should I do in Australia, you know? Yes. You haven't finished your, your studying back home. Yeah. But when you came here, you had lots of opportunities, not just the work. Work. But friends. also friends, friends, the family surrounding you, and also the opportunity to you know to level up with your talent in basketball. I know you've got a business, which is yeah. the basketball clinic. Plus the fact, the biggest thing that had happened to you is like meeting Erin. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the best. See, there's a. Yeah, do you realize that there's a reason why you're here? You, you, you've um, you've found your purpose. It's meant to be. Found your purpose in life. Yeah. Great it's job. Well done. She's actually my coach from basketball because she critiques my game. Oh, there so you go. That's why. Just very I'm strict here. critique, yes. yeah? Oh my goodness. She's very honest. If I play like, you know. I love that. Like, if I play bad, she's going to tell me, there you mm, yeah. you're doing this and that. I love like, that. There's an open communication with that. And she gave me a compliment as well. Relationship. So, which is good. It's like there's a balance mm -hmm. and on your critique. That's so, right. Yeah, that's why I study more of my game. Mm -hmm. And what should I do next? Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's been helpful in supporting me with my basketball. Mm -hmm. So it's good to know. It's good to know. And you know what? Uh, with you, Eric, uh, you said about the height a while ago. Yes. Doesn't matter what your height would be. Height. Look how blessed you are. Yes. You know, achieving your goals. You've got your vision. You focus on your vision. Yes. And you never ever like. Because sometimes you know, in general, people are thinking about how people will judge you, right? Right. right. But always remember, guys, other people's judgment doesn't define you. Really it doesn't so. matter that you're not good in scholastic, whatever scholastic achievements or studying, whatever it is. It's not all about competing, right? It's mm -hmm. all about you. It's all about your ability, yes. what, your talents, your passion. Yes. And look at you, you know, soaring high, very successful. It's a lot so of hard work. their judgment doesn't define who you are and what achievements you should achieve. Yes. And you can be successful because you are capable. Yeah. yeah? And we should not, guys, in general, we should not self stab attach ourselves because we are thinking about other people. Like, oh, what should other people would say that they are coming in this country, the culture, and it's I'm new, I'm not really good at this. It's not all about that. Focus on what you can do. Yeah? And focus on your strength. And look at Eric right now. Thank Very you. inspiring. And I felt like, you know what? I'm not really good in sports, but maybe <laughs> one day I could join the team. Yes. Play basketball. It doesn't matter. matter. It's not yet, you know, it's not yet um, mm. the end of the world. You know, I can still do this. And one day, Erin can also coach me. Is all right, Erin? <laughs> She's a good director too, guys. Anyways, so that's really good. Thank you so much for sharing that story. Oh my god, she cooks as well. Why did I see what you're doing?